As far as I'm concerned, there are only four luxury brands that exist in the world. Gucci, Prada, Arby's, and Martin Guitars. So they're putting this to the test because this is one of the Martin X series of guitars. I've been so stoked to check one of these out since NAMM. So, uh, if you've ever seen my channel, you know I'm a huge fan of Martin. I have been blessed enough to go to their official factory in Pennsylvania multiple times. So I know exactly what goes in to all the care that just goes along in making such an iconic guitar. Now this is from the Mexico factory. And fun fact, as we're already done with the unboxing of this guitar, because that was very expertly packed, uh, the majority of my gigging life was done with a Mexican Martin, a GPC PA4. And uh, that guitar has been amazing for me. My all-time favorite guitar ever is Martin D35, right? So this comes from the American factory. And once you go to like, like if you see the price on some of like the, the American Martin D series or any, anything from that factory, you might be like, well, that's expensive for a guitar. Once you actually go to the factory, you're like, what a deal. What an actual deal for like a lifetime guitar. I am stoked for this because uh, I've been a huge fan of uh, the Mexican stuff for a long time, like I said. I gig predominantly that kind of stuff my entire acoustic duo career. Although I did say my last show was with a D18, which was the first time I actually ever gigged that one live, but that's, that was another story. The, the, the thing about having like a road-worn Martin, cause even like with the D35, it's like, man, that's like such a nice guitar. I'm gonna have that my entire life. Do I really wanna bring that with to like a bar gig or something like that? The answer, you know, could be different depending on who you are. But this guy, I am so stoked for this. This is the 00 X series, 00 X2, I believe is what this is called. Uh, first of all, shout out to the Martin gig bag. Super classy, instead of just giving you like the standard black bag that everybody gives you. Got that, that velvety blue inline. This is cool. So I wanted to take a quick second to talk about what I think is a super important factor that guitarists kind of overlook, maybe especially when they're first starting out, is the body shape of a guitar. Oh, they got the battery in here too. Amazing. So this is a Dreadnought, right? This is a double O. The amount of O's before a Martin signify like how big it is. So this is like a much smaller body guitar, which might be easier just to kind of, I think it's like the perfect guitar just to sit and play. Is it like actually in tune? Oh my God. For the most part, amazing. Also, there's a tuner built into this. This is a Cocobolo uh, wood. Every time I see the word Cocobolo, I think of Final Fantasy VII and like Chocobos. I always think of it as like Chocobo wood or any of the Final Fantasy. Oh my gosh, so stoked. So let me actually give this a, a, a proper tuning real quick. All right, I got it tuned up and then you just click it again. Turns the tuner on and off. Amazing, built-in tuner, love that. I feel like every guitar should have one of these. This is the one, like this is just such a good size. So again, single O would be the smallest, double O would be bigger than that, triple O, bigger than that. They actually used to make a quadruple O guitar, but then it goes kind of into the Dreadnought series. But I just want to kind of focus on how slept on the Mexican Martins are, because like I said, the American Martins are amazing, the greatest guitars on earth. But, you know, they're, they're worth money because there's so much care that goes into those. Whereas, like, these guitars are so gig ready. I remember when I first started playing guitar, my girlfriend actually had an X-Series Martin Dreadnought. And just opening the case that was in and seeing the Martin headstock was so inspiring for me. Just to be able to, like, play her guitar. I'm like, this is, like, the best guitar I had ever played at that point. And that was before I became a total guitar snob and uh, fell, fell victim to a lot of the gatekeeping that exists in a lot of the guitar community, where it's like, oh, what's the country of origin and stuff like that. So that's why I wanted to work with Martin and I was like, hey, can I really try one of these X series out and maybe kind of put it through, put it through some uh, sound tests and maybe gig it. So yeah. So yeah, this, Sounds great, looks great, amazing. I'm going to properly 
mic this up and uh, get some real audio examples and make some music with this. But again, at the shooting of this video, I believe this car is 649. So that is such a good deal to get into just the Martin ecosystem, which like I said, once, you, once you're in, you're in for life. So be ready to make that kind of commitment. But uh, let's mic it up and get some high fidelity sound samples. All right, so we've got the Martin E1 electronic system. I want to do a little comparison on how just the direct out sounds because again I think this is really a perfect performing gigging guitar and then versus just having it mic'd up with a condenser and then both at the same time picked and finger style okay so let's start off with just uh, just some pick stuff some finger style. I feel like oh. it would be silly to have a Martin guitar demo without a real seasoned singer-songwriter who has been known to steal all my Martin guitars. Well, I have uh, no, give our thoughts. I have no idea. Really? What he's referring to. The GPCPA4 so. that I was talking about earlier. That's uh that's what? Gracie's that's a, it's not at my house. No, well, I gave uh, it to you. I gave uh, that to you. That's, you did. Uh, you, you, did. Are, you earned it. That yeah. was. That you was know? a gift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, but, but after I, so many years, I keep bringing it up mm -hmm. as if you know you're still paying it off. That's true. So, you're gonna play a little original song for I us? I think I am. I am. Uh, Will that pay my dues? Some of them that, that partially, That's partial, you know, it'll be a good a chunk bit. towards uh, you know, truly repaying your debt. Uh, what do you think of the guitar so far? Um, I'm actually obsessed. I, I mean, I commented when I picked it up on the couch, like the First action thing is you amazing. Said, action. I was obsessed with it. It comes so like looking so great. The setup is awesome. The sound is mm. deeper than you'd expect, which is pretty great from this uh, model. That's that's something I like to see, especially with these models. So, there we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm excited to play it. Great job. Yeah. Let's, let's hear what you got, let's old see pal. Oh, 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 thank right. you. Oh, thank you very much. Seem 
shows of every time we speak is even if you got married even if you moved on so we never talk anymore so mic myself up and just do a little singer-songwriter vibe, see how that fits. Uh, if you've been watching the channel recently, this is a, a newer song of mine. This will be the third time. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do this finger style with a pick or whatever, so uh, any feedback and appreciation I'm definitely grateful for, so let me know in the comments. Also, thanks again to Martin for sponsoring this video, sending this guitar over. There'll be an affiliate link in the description. Check it out if you're fancy. I think your problem is a conviction to a cause And that can be addiction in itself I had you at a loss, took your hand and ate the cost But I could not forgive you someone else You're leaving town, and in a flash I'm not around So reaching out, it's your only card to play yeah, I can tell you're desperate, ain't Your discipline's been tested Now I can't believe a single word you say No one can cool us down I try to find a girl with half a mind that I can help to keep my hurt from getting worse. You claim that it's okay, we both know but never say how our actions speak it louder than our words. Yeah, it's no good, I find another neighborhood, and maybe that will keep me far enough. But it's a long cold night And you ride fast and travel light The distance is an ornamental bluff No one can cool us down Back. 
Is this the end? Or can we both pretend the change finds a heat sink that we won't provide? I've got it all played out. You come back as I'm about to jump this burning building terrified. No one could cool. Oh.